Africans flick fanatics have won a promo production to satisfy their big screens cravings. This after the release of Tue Grade van Moort, a proud South African produced film that premiered last week. The award winning picture has been described as deeply moving, excellent and matured by many movie critics. Gerard Schoenhoven directed the film and he's in studio this morning to tell us more about this production. Goeie moor and baie welkom and morning live. Do me la. O apel en dat? Uh, die pilele wo na oka. Ek okay, apel. Yeah. That's South Africa for you. Very multilingual. Isn't it? Well, thank you very much. We are very happy to have you in the studio this morning. Two grade van moord. Two degrees of murder. Tell us about the production. Well, um, it's basically about uh, two women who both, two women, two murders. And uh, although it's got murder in the title, it's actually a love story. Every time people talk murder, I say, let's talk love. Because it asks the question whether the call of love, whether you would react to the call of love. And uh, I think that is what the characters are, f uh, are faced with. Sandra Prinsler plays the lead. Okay. She's this uh, psychologist, uh, sort of love guru, doctor, la writer, who's at the top of her Vindgat Luaban. And uh, she gets tested out of all these wise cracks and all these things that she's dished out in her life. She gets practically, uh, 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 you know, uh, confronted and she has to make life-changing decisions. <laughs> It was fantastic to work with Sandra Prinsloo and Marius Weyers who plays Weet the leads. Weet what so baie omgeen nie? Kom ons kyk gewoon na die drie blijle. Ah, oh, fantastic, that's <laughs> beautiful. Sê jy die liefde vereis nie opoffering? Kom maar Alexa, klink vir my, jy sit met die geheim oor die liefde wat ons ander nie van weet nie. Wat is dit? Jy moet leer om die rechte vrouw van die leven te vraag, as jy wil antwoord hee. Vraag soos wat? Ek het gedink jy tot aanvaarding gekom. My aanvaarding lyk net anders as wat jy verwacht het dit moet. Ons vreese volg ons net so getrouw soos ons eie skade weer. En vir elke vrees wat ons het, bou ons nog een skans, nog een meer. Is it your meal ticket Hollywood to do? What are you for me? What are you for me? You and all your reels and your love. The love is a weapon. It's 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 a weapon. Practice what you preach, lady. Outside our ideas of right and wrong, there's a field. Will you meet me there? Daar was net een vraag, wat ek moes bevredig. Wat sou die liefde nou doen? All right, there you have it. Like we said, we don't want to give away too much of, of yes, what the film entails. Indeed. But I'm seeing a lot of uh, well-experienced uh, actors in the play. Take us through the process of choosing or deciding on the characters. You see, uh, this is my first film. And uh, five years ago, I made a series and I offered Marius Weyers in one of the leads. And he said, Gerrit, I'll do it if you read a friend of mine's a script of the warm heart. So I read the script of The Warm Heart, and it became Twee Grade van Moord. And we were involved in the process of making it happen for five years. And in that process, Sandra Prinsloo and Marius Weyers came along. So they were part of the project from the beginning. And then uh, the role was specially written for Charlene, and she joined us as well, which made it a very strong team. So the younger parts are all filled by actors that has never done screen work before. It's their debuts. They are younger actors. They're new faces. They're exciting new faces. They're a person like Hilda Kronier. She has been traveling with Miss Julie all over the world, Rael Faber's production, and she's been nominated with the production all over the world. And then it's Rulof Storm, he's an exciting, sexy, young new guy who is playing the son in the family, Keenan Arison, and then of course 
of course, Kim Kluter, which is also a real major mover and shaker. <laughs> she was a documentary filmmaker in the film, and uh, we used her footage that she filmed for the film, actually. And we okay. trained her, and mm. so we used the actress footage. Yeah, um, no, from the little that we've seen this morning, it, it looks quite interesting. Yes. But how long did it take uh, for you to put this film together and deciding on the release of, of, of the final product? It took uh, uh, about uh, 24 days to shoot it, and then it took about two years for it to come out, because the subject matter is uh, controversial and mm. people were scared to put the movie out. Um, there are lots of issues in it, uh, uh, of which euthanasia is an important one. And I think that we should have had a discussion about that a long time ago already. Mm. Uh, so uh, uh, the question is, why should there be one rule that's applicable to all of us while we all have unique stories? So it took a long time. It was a surprise for me how difficult it is to negotiate the final uh, cut. I but can I can imagine. tell you, mm. I love this movie. Nobody made me compromise, although a lot of people would have loved that. And I'm grateful that I made a movie that I totally loved. 24 days of sleepless nights. I yes, believe. indeed. By you know you can you lacquer slap hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As you mean, it's a hunk, I, yeah. you, I wanted to ask, yes. uh, how has the interest been thus far? You see, uh, I think we got very mixed reviews. Uh, we got people who really love it and people who really hate it. And I think that's interesting. Why? If life is complicated, shouldn't movies uh, reflect that? Mm -hmm. And having a, a challenging theme and a, an engaging story shouldn't mutually be exclusive. So uh, we decided to embrace this and say, say that. Tell the people, you know, don't just listen to one critic. Look at the other people and make an informed decision. And why not go look for yourself and make up your own mind? Mm -hmm. That is the strongest. We shouldn't allow critics to rule our lives for us. And and yeah, from um, what I've seen, it's, it's not a, a family-friendly movie. It's not. It's, it's not for the faint-hearted. No, it's, it, it's age-restricted 4 to 16. Okay. But, I mean, uh, I think that if you are in the mood of a challenge, why not go watch this movie? Mm. Why do we go to films to see something we already know? Mm. Why don't we try something else? Mm. And I promise you... It, and it's an Afrikaans movie, but it's got subtitles. So you're able to follow even if you don't understand Afrikaans. Indeed so. It's like buying uh, something from the corner grocer rather at a, than at a big conglomerate. Mm -hmm. You support South African films. We need it. We need an industry. We need to make more movies in every language in this country. Just local content. What is the, what the SABC is striving for now? Yeah. Local we, content. Yes, indeed. Where are all the Zulu movies? Where are the Twana movies? Where are the movies that we uh, bugger up apart at and mix them? Mm. and mix our stories because we all live together right next to each other everywhere we have the same concerns uh, yeah, we so are. the movie is still showing yes indeed all right. please go watch it why should people go out take their time out to watch this film yeah like I said before uh, go and have a unique experience make up your own mind mm. go ask questions uh, and uh, above all I mean these actors modest uh, uh, and Sandra, they are the best in the country. Mm -hmm. They are at the peak of their career. They are doing a major movie. That is already a reason enough to go and support the movie. All right. No, that's where we're going to live it this morning. Gerard, thank you so much for your oh, time. Bye, donkey police. I really appreciate it. Bye, bye. Bye, Thank you very much. There you have. We're speaking to Gerard Schoenhoven. Uh, he directed the film Tue Grade van Moord. It simply trans translates to two degrees of matter. So go out and watch the movies. I was last out last week friday and it's still showing it's it's quite a nice african movie i must say all right we're taking a break morning life continues after this don't go away